WCIA 3 News at 630. It's scary for a lot of us because we don't know. We know we've made people upset, um, but we don't know exactly who we've made upset. That's what police are investigating as they try to find the people who are sending threats to a Vermillion County family. That family is caring for six horses that were rescued from outside of Danville last month. We told you yesterday Vermillion County Animal Control was asking for donations to help the animals. Now they're asking the community to help keep this family safe. WCI3's Ariana Williams is with us. Ariana, so what do those threats consist of? Animal control officers only told me about the initial threat, but the nature and details were enough to set off alarms. I know that the horse community is small um, and people talk and rumors fly, um, but there's times where people just turn their head um, and turn a blind eye to things. Vermillion County Animal Control Officer Kathleen Orcott says this should not be one of those times. Last month, she and her team rescued nine neglected animals from Crystal Cowbro's home north of Danville. And a nearby family opened their barn to take in the horses. Family is doing a lot uh, for us as far as caring for, for our case that we have going. Now she says that family is being repaid by some members of the community with threats. But they basically said that they were going to go out to the barn um, and more or less cause problems. Um, they, they used other language that I won't use. Orcott says the threat seemed vague until they started including her maiden name, which she hasn't used in over a decade. That's when she realized the people sending the threats were talking about hurting the horses that were rescued and that she's been checking in on consistently. The person didn't even realize who they're talking about because nobody calls me by that last name anymore. Um, so when that name popped up, you know, my heart sank and my stomach sank and I thought, oh my God. Orca says she's gotten state police and sheriff's office involved. It's kind of unfortunate that we're receiving threats in that way. We, we do our best to try to help the community. I know it's upsetting for us, but I mean, these this family, that this is their livelihood. This is their property. This is where their children live. Orca says she understands animals control's reputation and says some people may see them as the bad guys. But now she's asking for the community to put that aside and help keep this family and those animals safe. It's sad in a way um, because on beautiful sunny days where we felt comfortable letting the horses be out, now we they don't always get that. They're asking for anyone who hears threats or know any information to report it to law enforcement or to animal control. Vermillion County Sheriff's Office and State Police are investigating the case. Back to you. All right, Ariana, thank you. Now it is an open investigation and ongoing court case. Krista Calbro was charged with eight counts of neglect and 14 counts of animal cruelty. Her next court hearing is scheduled for the end of this week. It's not the budget.